Hello everybody, it's Darianne Hubbard from Century 21 in Okanagan Valley Living. It is August 5th, 2021, and our fires are in a just a terrible situation right now. I have a number of friends who have been evacuated from the west side of Okanagan Lake, and it is really tough. If you don't have family or friends that can put you up, it is a struggle to figure out where you're going to go. A lot of these people have animals, chickens and horses, and all of that has to be looked after. So do me a favor, if you hear of anybody really struggling and stuck, give me a call. I would love to try to see if I can find a solution for them. I was in Vancouver last weekend and it was so wonderful to see blue skies and green trees, lush vegetation. Oh my, it just was wonderful to see that. But as we drove out, you hit Chilliwack and you would think you were in one of those old movies taking place in London, England, where the fog is, what do they call it, thick like pea soup. That's what it was like. It was crazy coming home. So please protect your lungs. They say that the smoke in the air is very detrimental to your lungs, so wear masks or whatever you want to do to protect yourself. So let's go over to the stats machine and we'll see what's happening. So you can see that uh, we are in uh, July of 2021. And I wanna show you, look at the absorption rate in April. So the absorption, as you probably know, is if there's a thousand houses on the market and in the month of July, 12 of them sold, the absorption rate is 12%. So if you had asked any realtor two years ago, could you, would you ever see an absorption of 90%? They would have said, not possible impossible to have that and yet here we were in April so you can see it has dropped to 69 69 and we are at 43 so remember a balanced market is 12 to 18 percent depending on which statistician you listen to a balanced market means there's enough houses that buyers have choices and there's enough buyers that sellers sell their house within a reasonable period of time that is 12 to 18 percent absorption and we are at 43. So this downward movement certainly says our market is slightly balancing out. So it's gone from insane crazy to crazy. So we're not seeing 12, 14 offers on every property and over list price by 70, 100, 125,000. We're seeing three and four and five offers on each property and more like 10, 20, 30, 40,000 over list price. So still a strong seller's market for sure. Look at the inventory. This is where our problem starts. So if you go back one year to July 20, it is 452 was the inventory. We are less than half. So where's that coming from? Sellers are afraid to list their house. They fear they will be homeless. They fear that their house is going to sell quickly and it's going to take two or three months to find the next house they want. And now they're homeless. So if you don't, we've talked about this before. If you don't have a plan B, I get why you wouldn't want to sell your house. Now, there are always people that have to sell your house. Maybe an elderly person has passed away and they have to sell the house, a divorce situation, a job transfer, baby number four is on the way and you live in a two bedroom strata. So these people have to sell their house, whether the market is going up or coming down. But then there are the discretionary people. They want a newer house. They want a bigger house. They want a smaller house. They want a house closer to work. They want a house uh, closer to schools. Maybe they want to move from a house to a strata for less outdoor work, lawn work. But those people don't have to sell their house. It would just be a nice plan for them. So those are the people that are not listing their house and they're just staying put. And they're saying, I'm going to wait until I can actually feel confident I will find my next house and then I'll list my house and it will sell quickly. So that's why our inventory is so low. And remember, the real estate market can be reduced down to supply and demand. We have a very, very low supply and a very high demand, which is creating the market we have. Look at the sales. 87 in July, we were up to 160, 177, 134, 132. So really, we're not having as many sales because there just aren't houses out there to buy. 
if this number were to change to 300, this number would go up. There literally be houses for all of these buyers that are sitting and waiting. And it is tough for buyers right now. I feel really sorry. I have a number of buyers who have tried to buy a house once, twice, three times. They put in good, strong offers and it just wasn't enough. Uh, many houses are selling condition free. No financing, no inspection, no well inspection or water inspection, no septic inspections, which is very, very risky, but they know that's the only way my offer is gonna get accepted, so they're willing to take that risk. Pretty risky. Just before I leave the um, stats machine, I wanna show you this. Look at, oh, just a sec, it jumped up. I have to go over here. There it is, no, I didn't jump up. Right there, look at that. For the first time in history, the average sale price of a house in the central Okanagan, which is basically Kelowna, is over a million dollars. Isn't that crazy? Can you believe little Kelowna is selling over a million dollars? So that's our update. A lot of people ask me, what do you think is going to happen in the next six to 12 months? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's not too hard to predict. In order for the market to crash, the bottom to fall out of the market, there would have to be a dramatic change in that supply and demand. So if we have 200 current inventory houses, if that were to go to 350, all of a sudden, really quickly, the market would suddenly do a major shift because all of a sudden, buyers would have many choices to buy and they would not be willing to pay list price or above list price. They would be go back to saying, well, if I don't get the first one, I got five more that I like, so I will just move to, to the second choice. So there would have to be a dramatic increase in the inventory or a huge decline in the buyer pool. So if suddenly a whole bunch of people said, this market is crazy, I'm not going to buy a house, that demand would suddenly take a major shift and the market would take a major shift. Do I see either of those things happening? No, I don't. I see a very gentle continuation of the leveling off. And I just think that, you know, the frenzy, you can feel it. The frenzy is gone. And as we go into the fall market and into the winter months, I think the market is slowly, slowly going to balance out. We're not going to come to a balanced market of absorption 12 to 18. That is a good two years away. That It just takes so much change to bring that about. But I believe we're going to continue to see a leveling off of the market. What will happen next spring? That's interesting. The spring is all the time when inventory suddenly grows. You know, the snow is gone. Grass is coming out. You know, the flowers are coming up. People are putting in their gardens. And everybody who wants to sell, those discretionary people suddenly go, let's put our house on the market. Will that happen next spring? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think more will, but I don't think it suddenly is going to boom. But you know, if COVID has taught me anything, it is possible to have an incredible, unpredicted, unpredictable market. When COVID first hit and the market literally stopped for two months back in March and April of 2020, we thought the market is going to take a real tumble downwards. Who could have predicted what happened? It skyrocket. So you always have to think about, we can crunch numbers, we can forecast and predict, but do we ever know for sure what's going to happen? No. Can we ever be hit by a curveball that we had no preparation for? Absolutely. We did it. In 2021, it happened. That was a curveball like you've never seen before. Okay, I don't want to ramble on. Take care of your lungs. Um, if you hear of anybody that needs help because of evacuation, please let me know. And I will see you next month with our update.